something cool has happened. Look at this. Whoa! Look. <laughs> Who's this? Made it all the way in. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Well, hello. Tavi made it in. When did you get here? We got here two days ago. Two days ago. Very so, jet lag. So he, he messaged me and goes, hey, I'm already getting up at 4 a.m., so why not just do an early one? So we did a moderately <laughs> early one. Moderately. Yeah. Moderately. Eight, eight o'clock. I let him sleep a little. Yeah, I've already been awake for five hours. Yeah. He's, already, he's already doing it. You are crushing it. Um, not even just like on social media and as an influencer. You're crushing it at life. Um, and I love following everything you're doing. You're, you're, you're standing on the shoulder of your guy. Uh, <laughs> you're a youngster that is doing it and, and you developed your own empire. Uh, a family man. Um, a fur daddy. A little baby. A beautiful wife. Beautiful family, and you have balance at such a young age. Yeah, I mean, not uh, easy. I think back to when I was your age. I was so scatterbrained and, and and doing everything I possibly could to hustle and hustle. But you have such a calmness to you that I love. <laughs> Is there any techniques you could tell them out there to well, any any advice? I mean, the the biggest thing I've learned the past uh, three four years. Especially the last three, four years is the importance of meditation, of spirituality, because of course that it seems very separate, you know, going to the gym, training, building your body, but it's actually one and the same. You know, we come here to relax, to do our thing, and if you're able to meditate yourself to calmness, even when your life is absolutely chaos, you're able to wake up every day with 100% motivation, no matter what. And that's I think that's the most important thing. And that's not coming from a, from years and years of, of living life. That's coming from a, a youthful, young 20, 29, 29 now. Um, and that's just an old soul. That's it's a beautiful statement, and I agree with you 100%. There's nothing I'm going to add to that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're going you're gonna to experience it even more with the, the, the little one. Yeah. Try to live in that moment. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the shift from living a life of ambition to living a shift, uh, a life of purpose. You know, that's also the... The big thing that we've done. I love that. <laughs> I am learning today. Just so you guys understand, he is the teacher today. Sets of ten pull ups. Nice. Okay, I'm ready. Get ready. Right yeah. Oh, love this. I made it into town. I don't know if you guys know this or I do, but this is the best I've seen you in person. You look incredible. Yeah, I think it's the best. Uh, Best, yeah. best ever? Best ever, yeah. Okay, wait, then I got a question for you. You're busier than ever. You're a family man. Yeah. Uh, you have a puppy, you have a wife, you have a kid, you have a business that's uh, epic. You travel. I would think you would have the worst physique at this stage. Why do you <laughs> have the best physique now? The best physique now? Honestly, I've been testing different diet strategies. Because, because of the busyness and the traveling, um, and what I've actually found, and I've given it my own kind of tweaking, is uh, intermittent fasting, actually. So because I travel so much, and you know, breakfasts, lunch, they're always bad food, or you know, right, airplanes right. and hotels. And now, you know, by compressing the food that I eat to a shorter time frame, I can get it in perfectly every day, and I don't struggle with you know eating often, and then. So that has been a huge discovery for me. I've been tweaking it and I'm going to be writing about it as well to, to share with everybody that has a busy life. So conditioning wise, losing body fat or maintaining what you have, I think that this is perfect if you're like, yeah, like, doing, like super you're busy. Yeah. I love that. I love, and for me, besides finding the details that works, what I think is incredible, 
is that there's no excuse. There's not, hey, I got a kid, so I'm a little lazy on this yeah. aspect of it. Uh, or I have, uh, I have a business, so I'm a little lazy on that. It made you raise your game in every aspect. Yeah. And it's like you're at, yeah. not even peaked yet. You're 29 years old, and you got so much more time, but you are crushing it. And there's no excuse in your... On, on the shoulders of giants, right? <laughs> oh, man, you're doing great, man. I love seeing, I love seeing this, especially... Not from somebody my age, because I've lived a life and I understand the ups and downs. But somebody that grabbed onto it at a young age and didn't make excuses and just making it, you're crushing it. You're really crushing it. And I love that. I love seeing somebody that I've known for a few years now that just continues to grow. And actually, you, you continue to grow inside. You're, you're, you're always inside. growing. You're always growing. Now, now he's a pop-up. Now he's going to understand. <laughs> I'm gonna thing, learn from you. Best thing ever, right? Oh, and then we got. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we got the baby, the first baby. Always win. Yes. So okay. we're gonna crush back. What we're gonna do today? We're gonna start with 10 sets of 10 on pull ups. Okay. We're gonna change up the grips on that. And then I'm gonna show you some different back exercises with a tweak of change of technique. Yeah. Sound good? Perfect. Let's crush it. Start us out. Down to your chest. Rotate over now forward. More down lower lat. Forward like a Go again. After the track. Guys, when you're doing close grip, you're thinking mid back. We get a shirt off on this next one. This is where we're going, right here. All right, so this exercise is completely different. You guys are normally pulling it down here, chest up, mid back. I'm having you rotate over. You're pulling now here. So you're focusing down low, that lower insertion. What we'll get is we'll get Tavi to pull off his shirt on the next one so you guys see that lower back kind of pull in. Here we go. Here we go. Get back there. Look at this. Now you see everything. 
we are doing. All the way up. Ooh. Ooh. No CGI on that, even though we're in Hollywood. That's the real thing. <laughs> no Photoshop. Okay, so Mike just showed me this variation on the lat pull down. And it's, uh, you back off of the seat a little bit and you pull it down at a different angle and it's really interesting the difference in the contraction that you feel when you're sitting up like that versus when you're sitting contracted like that. I feel the pump in my back. Uh, next level, actually. do a back double bicep, we get the, con the idea that everything is contracted, we're pulling it down. Lat spread is, has nothing to do with that. Lat spread is a stretch. Mm -hmm. So how can we stretch it and pull it out? And that's where not everything has to be a contraction there. We move down lower. Now that we hit pull-ups, hopefully you guys got a couple pull-ups. But we start out with 10 and 10. Did four sets here. Now what we're going to do, mid-back, we're going to come up inside, um, and here's the one big thing, even though it is back day, there's still going to be some trap movement, there's uh, yeah. rear delt movement, there's going to be some secondary stuff. And I know that uh, the new, newer generation, they try to isolate just the smallest thing yeah. when it's okay to have secondary muscles come into play, because they're seeing everything, yeah. you know. The only thing they're not seeing is Jeff, and that's all right. <laughs> Rick Top. All right, 10 sets of 10 on pull-ups. Someone came to play today. Look at this. Crushing it, crushing it. All week this week, coming into play. mid-back. Here's the next thing. Always focus on your weak parts first when you're doing your workouts. Look at this. Nice. So what's your weak part? <laughs> For you, it's your not your traps in mid-back. Yours is perfect. This is a strong point for him. So the one thing I would say is, you have so much energy in a workout. You have less at the end of the workout. So the one thing you don't have to really worry about as much is the traps of mid-back. Because these things are huge on you, right? So it doesn't make sense for everybody out there to go, oh yeah, you hit those even more. And then you'll throw everything else out of proportion and balance. See, you get that. You get that. And then for you guys at home, I hope you understand that if you're always coming in the gym and you have a crazy deadlift, and I'm saying deadlift, and you go, I always got to start with the deadlift. Eh, do you? It's not a rule, is it? No, it's not a rule. It's about you. What's best for you? Yep. Last, if 
you got a great deadlift and do it in a fatigue state, then you're really pushing it. And then start with the weaker body parts, whatever that may be, the lower lats, the insertions, or it could be just the mind to muscle connection, which the majority society has when it comes to the back. Because if they can see the muscle visually, and we don't, you have to be able to see it without looking. And that's what you're doing today, 100%. Good. Consciously tell your muscle to grow. crazy weight is because this technique if performed correctly and you can you can testify to this yes. if you're on stage and you're posing you're actually holding no weight how tiring is it I, I pose at the end of a lot of workouts just to really finish it off yeah. so if you guys can understand that there's times you want to sling the weight you want to get nasty love it I love getting in a mix and a battle then there's times where you want to refine it. And uh, the point of me today is to show them little tweaks to change those muscles and get those smaller muscles that may not be working. But as you see, pretty much every muscle on him is working at all times, so. Look where his hands are now. Not at the bottom, not at the top, right in the middle. It's a slight twist with the wrist. Nice. Guys, so one of the biggest themes with this workout that Mike is taking me through is actually a lot of the, the machines that I've used for you know 10 years. He's, uh, he's changing the body position and he's changing the movement 
in a way that it, it hits almost a completely part of the, mu the different part of the muscle when it's the exact same machine. So it's the same thing with this. His body position is a bit higher. He's not sitting, and uh, elbows are down, squeeze, and it hits it just in a completely different way. So that's a really, really interesting thing for a lot of you that don't have really nice gyms with a lot of options. You can get a lot of this out of the same machine just by playing around with your body position, lower or higher, and, uh, and isolating parts of the muscle that you might never have even known existed. <laughs> There's a big difference of trying to get a pump and trying to uh, get that thick density. Now this is an exercise we're gonna heave ho a little bit, a little bit heavier weights right behind you. Um, on this one, we're gonna wanna work that density. We fatigue the body, so now when you pull this back, it's gonna be in a strong position, elbows in tight, everything, mid back, show this. Forget about the pump so much, just trying to torque it. Stretch, over stretch on everything else. Yeah. Now we're at the end of the workout, a little bit fatigued. So this is gonna be actually a shorter range of motion. Keeping that pressure on the back in a strong position. And you're heaving ho, and then also you're raising the back up off the pad. So now everybody else is gonna go, no, 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 don't move your back. You wanna move your back.
first grip changes the exercise completely. Absolutely different feeling again. And the grip. Break from the hip, stretch, back up, go again. Now, don't touch my hand, go over the hand, go over, go over, go over, go over. Now, elbows back, and contract. Stay there, Just go again, over the hand, back up, again. Go. There's three, we're doing ten reps. Six. Over the hand. Squeeze, squeeze, stretch, stretch. Don't touch, don't touch. Back up. Even more. Even more. Stretch. I know. I know. Couple more. Stretch over. Back up. Last one. Back up. <laughs> Look, old man. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. See the change on there? So everybody does this, and most of the time what they're doing is hips, because they're breaking from here, where we want to do it from the lower back, so it's almost like a reverse crunch, where this is staying solid, and you're stretching over, and then contracting from that lower part, flexing it. I feel it. Do you see how you started kind of touching the hand again? Without weight. So it's again, we're just breaking down the movement. So what is the hyperextension? What's the actual hyperextension? that yeah. not this exactly all right guys so this is mike's tweak on the on the hyper extension and he was just telling me that you know you're doing this exercise for your lower back but not for your hips so most people are going to bend at the hips and get much more of a glute to hamstring stretch for training than an actual lower back training and by compressing in as if you're doing a crunch instead of bending at the hip and then expanding out Nails it. Let's go pop the top. We're gonna really show you this. We're gonna pull his shirt off again. Stay there. Stay there. Face away again. Look at the pump now. Whoa. Come here, kiddo. Get in there. there stay, stay there. Stay there again. Jump back. Well, we just finished. What do you think? Incredible. The variations, the way that my back is pumped right now, I'm struggling not to not to cramp up. It's uh, it was amazing. Thank you for the tips. And you guys are gonna learn from this video and it's taking advantage of different body positions on the machines that you've probably already been using for a really long time. And they're gonna hit a completely different angle, different head of the muscle. It's gonna feel completely different, yet it's the same machine. And you're gonna it's just great. So enjoy. And this is coming from a leader in the industry. Um, one thing I hope you, my fans will take away from this is uh, all the Titans willing to learn. Epic, he's killing it, he's crushing it in all aspects of life. Uh, he's successful, willing to learn. That's what I hope you guys take away. Besides what we did here today, um, translate what he's doing in the gym and in business and life and family man. And, um, <laughs> so I'm gonna learn a lot this weekend, this yeah. week with you. We're gonna hook up a couple more times. We are doing legs. You guys asked for legs. We're doing legs together. Legs. 
Yeah. And we're going to do some spiritual training conversation and life training conversation, right? So I, I'm Focusing looking forward so to that. so much on the body. Yeah. So, look forward to it. A lot more coming this week. Stay tuned. And also, go check out his video that is going viral right now. He's very flexible. You guys don't know this. But you can actually do rear delts and leg press at the same time. <laughs>